This film is part of a series featuring 10 student films from the University of Montana's Media Arts Department. Watch and enjoy. My name is Dan Malloy, the film's Closed Door Open, and uh, it came about after years of kind of just observing people and just kind of noticing through our daily interactions that we're constantly auditioning for something. And uh, I didn't know how to make that because making a movie about interviewing for jobs is kind of boring. So I used something I think we can all relate to, which is uh, the dating life, and I, I think that uh, if you take a look at life and how everything is an audition for a greater purpose, I think that's essentially where the film came in. And then we explored it with the actors and really dialed it down and came up with something pretty neat, I think. With him being solo, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of him looking out over the horizon um, of, of, of this world of possibilities and then going back into this idea of everything being an audition. Uh, it was kind of my idea that I came about um, that the only time we're truly ourselves um, is when we're by ourselves. The unknown is not as comforting as it once was. Welcome to the underground theater production of All the World's a Stage. Who is that? Life is a series of auditions and rehearsals, and it feels like it's building up to a larger production. Unfulfilled promises, kind of unfulfilled and desires. I, sorry, I just don't always talk to myself. I'm just, you know, trying to get my head straight here. Hey. Hey. You talking That's to yourself? <laughs> It sounded Sorry. like you were talking about me. No. <clears throat> oh, which one? 
Oh, just the poor and doesn't have a car. Oh. I thought I heard something like that. No, I was just kind of trying to think of, like, you know, the different characters, how it's, like, security versus fun, and mm. I was just kind of making stereotypes. Oh, okay. Did that make you feel shitty? It, no, it was just familiar. It's my inner monologue most of the time. Like, you don't want to be with the poor guy? No, well, I don't, but <laughs> no. Like, like, like I'm you telling want myself. A hot guy that'll just take you home <laughs> at night. <laughs> I mean, that would, you know. Jesus Christ, what whatever. are you guys doing? Are you guys uh, ready for tonight or what? Yeah, we were just we were going we were going over lines pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that one before. All right, well, see you guys in forty-five minutes. Okay. What scene yeah. are we doing, actually? Well. I don't know. We'll start with uh, start with the easy stuff. You guys breaking up, quote unquote. <laughs> How about that? Sweet. All right. Okay. See you. See Wait. You guys. Yeah, I okay. should go I get ready. Okay. okay. Awesome. Okay. Basically, it's about changing. I mean, there are small changes that happen with each memory tiny specific fractions of memory. I try to reflect but I can't. I'm sick and tired of living in the past. I mean, is this my Pandora's box? I have to wonder if I miss my chance. If that's all I have in me. Am I able to change? What is it about Tara's character that, that is giving off a, a sense of, of, of struggle? Sure. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's totally important for me to think about because I, in order to fall for her or be involved with her at all, I've got to have some sort of empathy or some sort of, you know, even if it's just illusion, but I think that it, she's... I guess it, it's an identity crisis for her that I see. It's like she has come from this kind of world of stability and maybe maybe it's gotten static and you know this is this relationship between her and I is throwing a kind of a wrench in that and you know as as any kind of like chaotic situation it's going to have you know, growth, but it's going to have destruction too. So, I guess that's easy. That's easy to for me to to empathize with someone trying to change. So, if you could wrap it up, does that make sense? 
because this has happened. This has happened in, in your reality. <laughs> like it. That or? Well, like you haven't done this before. Where'd you get this? Uh, from my dad, actually. Yeah, it doesn't really come off. Let's go. Do you think you'll ever want to get it off? I don't see why. Kind of everything, everything is an audition. Um, everything seems to be a rehearsal. I mean, even, even just day to day interactions with total strangers, it feels like you're. It feels like I'm constantly auditioning for either people's praise or just a moment that I can look back on and say, yeah, that was done correctly. It just seems like the audition process is kind of excruciating. It's kind of horrifying, and um, a, a lot of it, for me, has been like, when when do I get to the meet? When do I get to do the work? 
work and when do I get to actually live. Thank <laughs> you.